Okay, Eitan, good to be here. Rad is very well known for having pioneered the whole notion of distributed NFE. And I'm seeing here today that you're bringing that technology into play with virtual CPE, which you've been doing, but now SD-WAN, two very hot trends you're bringing together. What, how did you get to this point? Well, first we, we, we brought together the distributed NFV. Um, the idea there is to be able to virtualize certain functions at the customer prem. What we've seen is that the service providers add a lot of value in providing QoS enabled WAN connections. Okay. However, they also want to be able to compete with the over the top. And so the SD-WAN solution allows them to steer traffic, to prioritize certain traffic over the QoS enabled WAN, okay. and then have traffic that does not require the same QoS, the same low latency mm -hmm. to run over the internet, and then also provide the ability that if you have a loss on a link, mm -hmm. the traffic can be redirected over the remaining link with priority going to the more real-time traffic. Okay, and that puts them in a better position to compete, the folks who are running their own networks, that is, with the guys who are just delivering this over the top, right? Correct, okay. correct. And give and their customers more control. Correct, and then what, what Rad's doing is we, are, we, we not only have the infrastructure that works with existing networks, both layer three IPVPNs mm -hmm. and also carrier ethernet, but also being able to monitor the SLAs, being able to see what sort of delay you have both okay. on the carrier ethernet network end-to-end -end okay. or the IPVPN using TWAMP, right. but also across the public internet so that you've got a good understanding when you have a fault, which link has had a fault. Okay. And then obviously the uh, Versa will do the redirecting of traffic accordingly. Okay. Uh, and then what happens is the underlying fabric does a lot of other things. It can do, for example, ingress shaping. So if you've got a multi-tenant application and multiple um, traffic sources coming from different customers, right. you could control it, send different traffic according to different traffic profiles across the different links and do that all in a single platform. So okay. there's a, a lot of additional capabilities that way. One of the things that's worth noting here is not only would we be doing the uh, performance monitoring end-to-end -end across the link, mm -hmm. but also of the uh, NFVI the NFE infrastructure okay. that the verse is running on. So we would be able to understand if, there are, if there's any kind of issue, latency, drop packets okay. along the way. Okay, excellent. And you've got a demonstration here, correct? Yes. Okay. So what we're showing over here is, um, firstly, this is a, a, a simple diagram, um, part of the topology of our RADview management. It shows there the two means two links, one link going over the uh, IPVPN and one link going over the public internet. And then um, if we go and have a look at the faults, we would see in this case that the network is good. Okay. No, no critical faults or, or any kind of faults. Uh, so this gives you the dashboard of what's going on. Okay. Okay. Now if we go back to the topology, for example, what you basically have, have going on here mm -hmm. is that we saw the topology with the two end links. Right. We then see that there's no faults. Okay. Now, if we go over and look at the performance monitoring, what's going on on these links, we would see over here that we have two links, okay. uh, TWAMP link 1 and TWAMP link 2. And if we zoom into one of them, for example, into the performance, we would see packet loss, delay, maximum delay. And, and, and if we switch between the two, we'll see how the QoS enabled uh, links have got much lower latency okay. um, and much lower lo loss. And then... Um, we see that here, for example, this is now the internet connection, much higher uh, delay, okay. okay, which makes sense. Right. And then if we then um, switch over to the, um, to the Versa component of this solution, okay. and we look at the applications running. So here, for example, we have between the two locations, both video running, video we can assume here is real time, and then we also have a file transfer. So what the Versa will be doing is it will be doing steering of traffic the real-time traffic going over the QoS enabled link. Okay. And then the best effort traffic, which is the FTP file transfer, mm -hmm. is going over the public internet. So we would see that. And then um, what will happen is that when you then disconnect a link, you would see that firstly, uh, the video would continue for a while because there's some buffering. And then it would go over the IPVPN link, but you would see a dramatic drop in the performance of oh, the FTP. The, so the picture wouldn't, wouldn't be as good. Okay. So the picture wouldn't be as good because you do have higher loss right. and, 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 and jitter and delay over the internet. Okay. But it would continue to show the picture because that would get priority 
over the uh, over the FTP. So the FTP would slow down dramatically. Okay. And then what will happen? So here we are seeing it, the video going, and and the link. If you look, we see there that the, the FTP has stopped. Uh, the video continues to run. It's now running over the public oh, okay. internet. Okay. And then um, when we reconnect it, we would suddenly see that. Um, the SD-WAN application now understands that the second link is back up okay. and starts to redirect real-time traffic back over that connection, freeing up bandwidth on the internet for the FTP application to start okay. running. So Eitan, thanks for the demonstration. Very interesting stuff. Good to talk to you. Thanks, Carol. Always a pleasure.